Welcome back to the Pandas Pet Pampering YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to reveal how and why I became a pet groomer. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. We'd love to have you. Now let's get started with the video. I left school at 16 with pretty good GCSE grades, but with no idea what I wanted to do as a career. My parents advised me to go to my local job seeker centre where I took a quiz and the results were quite surprising. Apparently my perfect job would have been as a dog groomer, but at the time, being 16, I didn't want anyone telling me what to do and I thought I knew best, so I went to college for two years to study a national diploma in media studies. And looking back, the skills I learnt on that course are now very useful, so I am grateful but I wish I'd listened and perhaps saved myself some time by looking into working with animals initially. After completing my course in media studies, I went to Hadlow College for two years where I took a national diploma in animal management. One of the additional courses was in dog grooming and I decided to give it a go as I hadn't forgotten about the quiz I'd taken when I was 16. It turned out I did have a natural flair for dog grooming Thanks to my love for animals and my creative flair, I took to it really well and I enjoyed it, which was what I wanted. I never expected to have a career that made lots of money. For me, that wasn't the priority. I wanted to have something that I enjoyed that made me want to get up in the morning and go to work and hopefully would pay the bills. I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity to try dog grooming as I'm not sure I would have had the opportunity anywhere else. And Thankfully, it's led to a really fulfilling career. Once I finished my course in animal management, I looked into getting a job in the animal care industry. Although I really had enjoyed dog grooming, I by no means expected to find myself a job straight away doing something I enjoyed. I expected I'd have to probably work my way up or try several jobs before I found the right one for me. However, I was lucky and a friend of a friend ran a dog grooming salon near to where I lived, where I acquired a summer part-time job. This turned into a full-time job and I worked for there for two years, learning as much as I could and my tutor was a very good guide in dog grooming. He was self-taught himself but he had years of knowledge and he was a very good teacher, explaining things really well and giving me a real joy in the work I was doing. After this, I decided it was worth getting a qualification. This isn't an option everyone takes, and I by no means mean anything negative to people who don't have a qualification. But for me personally, it was the right choice. I went back to Hadlow and looked into dog grooming qualifications, and it was there that I gained my level two city and guilds in intermediate dog grooming. I learned a lot on the course. And although a lot of it was things I already knew, it was good to sort of have that validation that the way I'd been taught was correct. And as I'm sure a lot of self-taught groomers would agree, you do pick up bad habits. And it was at times a bit of a wake up call when I'd find myself being corrected for things that I, to be honest, hadn't even thought about. Like I say, I mean nothing negative against self-taught groomers. I think it's really admirable to have a skill like dog grooming that you've basically taught yourself. But this is my story and this is the direction that my life went in. And I'm grateful running my own business that I do have that validation that I can say to people, I have a qualification in this. For me personally, this was really important. Not long after I got my level two city and guilds qualification in dog grooming, I started looking around for other animal related jobs. The reason for this was I wanted to spread my wings a bit and see if there were any other directions that I could go in in my career. I did love dog grooming, but having done it for almost two years and then doing a qualification, I guess you could say I was a bit burnt out and fancied a change. It was at this time I was lucky enough to get a job working for the Cats Protection as a cat care assistant. Although it was still within the animal related field of work, it was quite a big change and I had to adapt quite a bit from being quite a creative worker to obviously having quite a routine based job. 
but it really worked for me and once I'd settled in I really loved it which is why I stayed for eight years which is much longer than I expected to at the beginning. As time went on I began to really miss dog grooming mainly the creative side which I didn't really get to experience in my new job and over time I built my confidence up and I felt that it was a case of now or never. I've always wanted to run my own business but I've always been really scared about it. It's a huge risk and I was aware that if it failed it would be all my own fault. Fortunately I had some savings put aside which certainly made the jump from full-time employment to self-employed a lot easier. But that being said, I don't think you can ever have too much savings when you decide to give up a full-time job. It's scary and it takes a lot of confidence to make it work, especially when the phone isn't ringing and you're wondering what on earth you've done. But I would say it's one of the best things I've ever done and I'm really proud of myself for taking the chance I have a very supportive family and partner and I'm very lucky that I'm able to live at home still because let's be honest, if I was renting I wouldn't be able to do this. But that's my goal. I want to have a job that not only fulfills me, is able to pay the bills, I'd like some bills of my own, but also a job that I really enjoy and I feel makes a difference. This was always my goal. And looking back at that 16 year old girl, I'd probably pull her aside and say, listen, dog grooming is the answer. But we all have a journey and this is mine. But the point is I'm at the right destination. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Like I said before, we'd love to have you. See you again soon.